Hello, this is Brian from the Canvas Factory. We're on a brand new 320 center console Edgewater. Beautiful boat. We're installing a forward sunshade as well as two wings for uh, when, when you get caught in the bad stuff on your way to the Bahamas. Now we're in beautiful Coconut Grove, Miami, which is a little far for us, but we're you know, we're working for a dealer that's actually in Pompano because we're out of Pompano. The number one question I get asked about sunshades is how fast can I go? I don't know exactly because every boat's going to be a little different. This one here, this is the biggest one that we've put on a, a 32 foot center console. It's 12 and a half feet long from the hard top to the forward poles. I'm thinking that you're not going to be able to go real fast, but you might get away with 20 miles an hour, which I think is good. So if you have wind coming in, it can pass underneath the sunshade. Plenty of height. I'm six foot four. It's over my head. But what I'm going to show you is how fast it comes down. So if you're trolling or at a sandbar or anchored up fishing and you need to move from point A to point B and you're not satisfied with going 15, 20 knots and you want to blast, I'm going to show you how quick you can take this thing down so you can run as fast as your boat goes and then put it right back up again. So I'm going to start taking it down now. I'm going to come forward, undo these, undo these ropes. Loosen the cam cleat and just let it come right out of this pulley. Come to the starboard side, do the same thing. Pull it out, pull it out of the pulley. Now I walk up here and this mount, this mount is the cat's ass. Look at this thing. I think this mount is as sophisticated of a mount that you can use on a forward sunshade. Look at this. And that's all that's on your boat. How could anybody complain about that? Come to this side, push the button, out she comes. The key to keeping this beautiful white, pristine white, is a custom bag for it. So even if you're only going from point A to point B, look how quick. You don't have to fold it or roll it. You can just shove it into this little compression bag that I made. takes less than a minute to put it in the bag so there's no reason not to do it now you can put it away for the day or even if you're just putting it away for a 30 minute blast to your next fishing spot it's good to go now these poles if if you want to go fast from point A to point B you can just leave those there but if you're done for the day they just come out and this is, this is another important thing. These are beautiful. These, this is like jewelry, these poles. Nice inch and a quarter, 316 grade stainless steel. Slide them into their padded bag. Now they're not going to be banging into each other. Take the second one. Now this is something that you want to, you know, put away clean. Don't stick that thing and store it away for a month, all salty. Just as long as it's clean, put it away. Now you can store it, and it's gonna stay nice. Look how easy. It comes down in less than a minute. Okay, we also made a set of wings for this 320 Edgewater, and uh, I'm gonna show you how easy that goes on. And I wanna point something out as well. Um, as technology goes, they designed this windshield with this groove, Years ago, we used to have to put the stainless steel screws right in the aluminum. Now we've got this little plastic insert. So the stainless steel and the aluminum will never touch the paint and you won't get that corrosive action like we used to get on the older boats. So I was able to do that on these four snaps, these four lift-a-dot snaps that I put in the windshield. And then in fiberglass, of course, it's not a problem because you don't have two dissimilar metals, so it works well. And I'm going to show you how, this, how easy this wing goes up. We installed a small slide track up here with a zipper. The only reason we need a zipper is there was no way to slide this thing in. So you have to slide your little piece of track in and then zip it. And then let me show you how this goes on. So with as, as little hardware as possible. And I'm using these lift-the-dot snaps because 
they're more secure than the button snaps because I figure when you're using this, the C's, the C's are high. And you might try and go fast. So I put these. Now, instead of installing hardware to the boat, there was a cleat right here. So all I did was I made a loop, drop it down, hook it to the bottom of the cleat, and then grab this extra strap and cinch it tight. That's all there is to it. And then when you're done, I put this nifty little clip right here. Watch how easy. You lift this clip and it releases. You pull the strap and it's taut. So that's a, that's a, a nice set of wings. Look at all the protection we have here. These two people are totally protected now. You can even have a, you know, a third person in here totally protected and even somebody standing back here would be protected with these wings and we made a separate custom bag to store them in so you put them in the console and they stay nice until you need them so these things are designed for bad weather so once you've passed through the storm let them dry up a little bit and then you're ready to take them down I want to show you how easy that is to take them down and store them you just walk over to this clip that I put here lift up everything's loose take the take the loop off the cleat that's free then I have one two three four five six lift dot studs and then we have a zipper up here so you undo the zipper and I have some velcro for added strength this zipper has to come out of there and then be stored back on so you don't lose it plus these things don't get used that much, so there's no sense in leaving that out in the elements all the time when it's so easy to just stick back up there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna roll this up now. I've made a custom bag for it. Just drop it in the custom bag and let it open up. Same thing with this side. Pull on the on the clip, take the strap off, that's free. One, two, three, four, five, six snaps. Come over here, undo your zipper and your Velcro, slide that baby out, and then take it, zip it back to the curtain, just so it stays nice. And then take this one, just roll it up. And you don't want to do this salty. You want to kind of wash these off with fresh water, let them dry before you bag them. And then, then they'll stay nice for you for a long time. So see, there they are in the bag. As long as you don't throw anything on top of them, they'll stay nice. So the best is if you can find a place under your console to hang these, it's the best way to hang them like this. Because what happens if you put them down like that and then you start throwing life jackets and anchors or who knows what else on top of them, they're not gonna, they're not gonna last for you. But if you can find a place to hang them upright, they'll really stay nice. I really like making sunshades. Um, I get calls from all over the states. People see my sunshades and uh, they think I can build it for them. People. Our website and contact information will be in the description. Thanks a lot for watching.